Billionaire James Packer has gone on the attack over Julia Gillard's planned pokies reforms, saying they're unworkable. And during an exclusive interview, he told Seven News how his Crown Casino is being revamped to better compete with the star in Sydney. James Packer was in no mood to talk on the way into Crown's AGM. What will be your key messages today, Mr Packer? At a closed meeting, he told shareholders the federal government's proposed industry reforms will cost jobs and won't save serious gamblers from losing money. But you don't have public policy without having the vaguest idea whether it would work. But it was a different man when I caught up with him, a rare interview with the man behind the Crown. To put it in perspective, you know, Crown is actually the biggest single building in Australia at about six million square feet. Parliament House in Canberra is the second biggest. And Crown's undergoing a massive refurbishment. $2 billion across Melbourne and Perth, um, you know, trying to upgrade uh, Crown and, and Burswood. Asian high rollers are the key. Crown's mahogany room has just undergone a multi-million dollar refit. But it's also about entertainment, and that's where Shane Warne comes in. He's a very clever guy, and uh, sometimes, you know, people don't realise how smart he is, but he said, you guys should develop the floor above that as well, and we should do an ultra lounge. And that's what they did. Is it for the glamour set? I don't know. I don't know what, I'm still trying to work out what that is. As debate rages over future gambling controls, James Packer says a deal's a deal. If you look at our results last year, the government um, got in taxes over two times more than our shareholders made in profit. And that's, you know, that, that was obviously the deal, and, and so we you know, expect and delighted to, to live by the deal. Jennifer Kite, 7 News.